morning, everybody. We are in, just outside of Mobile, Alabama. We slept in our Walmart parking lot last night with no problems. We're gonna land somewhere tonight in Florida. Today's a nine hour day on the road. It's very long. We got another movie for Abe. Abe, you got anything to say? He's watching Despicable Me. We woke up at 4.30 this morning, so we're gonna get an uh, early start on the road, and we're just ready to get to Florida. I'm John, this is Danny, and this is our home, Taterbug. There are many rewards and challenges that full-time RV life has to offer. Especially with this little guy. Meet Abraham. So subscribe and come along for just a tiny snip of our family's life as we enjoy the trip. <laughs> Made it to Florida. All right, just showed up in our Florida Thousand Trails site that we booked last minute. We had no idea there would be an opening. Florida's really hard to get a spot in, in, Florida, in a the winter. You know what site we are? Thank you. Uh, D something, I think. Shells over there from the beach. Did you get any shells when you were at the beach? parents right there leaving we had an awesome night hanging out I hadn't seen them in like months like since like October uh, they live on their boat just like an hour and a half south of here bye guys love y'all we woke up early this morning packed up we're at India Atlantic Park here in right outside Melbourne. Yeah, right outside Melbourne Beach on the Atlantic coast of Florida. So why are we all the way over here on the east coast of Florida if our journey's end is in Sarasota on the west coast? Well, back in Texas at this place, Fort McKinley State Park, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who is now a local news reporter in, you guessed it, Brevard County, Florida, where we are now. So we did a little interview on the road at a truck stop in Texas via Skype and talked about our journey across the country to find bartending work. As seasonal bartenders, this isn't their first trip to Florida. And the question was brought up, would we be open to receiving the vaccine? We said yes. Now, Danny and I, halfway through that interview, got an idea pretty quickly of how heavily the questions emphasized the COVID vaccine in particular. It didn't matter to us so much, honestly, as long as they gave our YouTube channel a shout out, which they promised to do and didn't. Anyway, here we are in Melbourne Beach doing a follow-up interview with now two different news stations, both of which promised to put a link to our page in their stories and did not. Their stories ended up airing in slightly different versions across the country, all the way out to LA through parent news media companies. In fact, just a few weeks ago, we received a message from a friend that said his local news station reported we'd found vaccines in the back of a Walgreens at closing time. I guess the reason I'm putting all this together is to show you two things, how skewed the news media can be, and also a real life attempt at promotion that simply did not work. Although the buzz was fun, and it's exciting to think about how many people saw a shot of our ugly mugs, ultimately it was a bunch of hullabaloo without much of a difference in the growth of our channel. But at least we got these sweet bobblehead graphics out of it. Fox 35 News. What's next, babe? We're, we got about three hours and 20 minutes to Nokomis, to where we'll be parked in Uncle Ty's parking lot for the next couple months. We're mooch docking, y'all. It's time to make some money as bartenders. We're about 30 minutes outside of Nokomis. Yeah. John and I are both like on 0%. Juice. I'm, on, I'm on 2%. She's on zero. I'm like, my eyes are like 
tired and heavy and we're just exhausted, completely just drained and exhausted from this whole cross country trip. We only took uh, time in San Antonio to sit still. And even one of those days we went into the city and biked around, so. It was like as soon as the news crews left this morning in Melbourne Beach, I just got slapped across the face with how tired I was and like all the adrenaline fell out. Barely, but we're here. This is gonna be the right angle for the camera. We are here to talk about being in Florida. I'm not gonna tell everybody where exactly because we got a couple death threats from the uh, <laughs> news coverage that we that we got, which was you know unexpected. So we're fine. Everything's cool. Abe's got a grocery cart in the house that's attached to the property where Tater's at. Uh, it's left behind by his cousins and he's all about the grocery cart. Speaking of which, I'm about to go to the grocery store to get some basic supplies and then the first step is always when we show up here with Tater, always, this is only the second time showing up here with Tater, but there is that. That's the Phoenix Palm that sent me to the hospital last year. We won't be doing that this year, but even before we take over that, we gotta, you know, clean up. There's like there's just stuff to power wash on the ground and like, you know, stuff to pick up, make it safe for Abe and so we don't track a bunch of dirt in and make it a livable little parking lot again. Oh my gosh, you've got your first reds there. Not gonna squish it, are you, like last year? That was a strawberry. These are safe on their vines, and their vines are all caged up. Hey, what are you eating over there, man? This property is where John and I got our start. Our restart, rather. We actually dated way back in high school. And a whole 10 years later, we found ourselves wrapped up in that same love we remembered back when we were kids. We immediately decided to run away to Florida together. Soon after, we found out we were pregnant with Abe. Anyways, there's a lot more to that story, but that's for a different episode. Just know that this parking lot brings us a great deal of comfort. As is the fact that we're employed as bartenders during this crazy time. At this place, Nokomo's. A cute little tiki hut just a few minutes away. Other than making money, we'll be spending a lot of our time down here doing repairs and remodeling, so expect a few renovation episodes coming up here in the near future. See you next week. Stay wild.
Thank <laughs> you.